one enter here, and as you can see, I got my iPod out. It was originally an iPhone that belonged to my youngest sister. But she gave it to me after she got a new Android, so now it's downgraded to an iPod. Reason why I've been posting on Twitter a lot, and reason I've been doing fine, so... Why you ain't asked why I'm doing it up? Well, we're going to review two games today, and the first one is something I can play, but you guys can't see, unfortunately, because I need to keep focus on the game, so... First, we're going to talk about Flappy Bird. And by the way, if you don't know, I'm a YouTuber critic. I review games, movies, and YouTubers, along with TV series. So, what is Flappy Bird? Well, one thing I can tell you, it's not in the Apple iTunes, it's not in the iStore, in the Apple Store anymore. But it's this addicting game that makes people rage a lot, and I died on the 11th pipe. My sister's tie score is 55. I'm not that good, but let's continue, shall we? The highest I got so far was about 20. There's this training game in the... Uh, in the, I store, the iTunes store called Flappy Forever, where you can train to be the best Flappy Bird player. I learned about it after I posted a score onto Twitter. When I got 15, I was like, oh my god, there is a training game for Flappy Bird, and I died at 5. So, yeah. And trust me, when I tried to do Jamebo's uh, attack for... Flappy Bird to get Crappy Bird, it didn't work. I'm very curious on why that didn't work, you know? I've tracked the bird ten times, like he said, went to the scores, hit done, got out, and returned. I have no idea what I did wrong. So, we're gonna play another round. Not sure if you can... One more round! Then I'll, then I'll score it. Alright, so Flappy Bird is really addicting, and many people can't just put their phones down. Some even threw out the windows, and that's the last round I, like I promised. I'm not like the bus gets like, one more time, then just go for another round. Huh? So, what does Flappy Bird get? It gets a 4 out of 5. I'm not sure why the dude brought it down, you know? It's just, it's just because of what happened. Like, but why? Uh, who knows. But the second game, I posted about it on Twitter. Here was the hint. It was an RPG for the Sega Genesis that managed to get a sequel for the Genesis. I well, forgot to say for Genesis, but you know how Twitter is, you know. Has a Game Gear release. But, no, not a port of the Game Gear, but, like, its own game for the Game Gear, and a GBA port. And, and I'm talking about Shining Force. I forgot where I am in this game right now, but it's available in the Apple Store, in the Apple Store for about 99 cents. And that's, that's a pretty good bargain for playing one of the greatest games in history. So, uh, let's see where I am. Oh, that's right! I'm in a town! About to fight some monsters! You play as a hero who... Best? Who... Make a team known as the Shining Force to take down the evil of Runefest. But along the way, you're beginning to learn more and more that Runefest is not that bad, but the person who managed to conquer Runefest wanted to unleash a dragon. Not just a peaceful, loving dragon, a dragon of mass chaos. And if you guys don't know, this is Dora. <laughs> so, and along the way, your character can manage to recruit new members by chance. Heck, you can even talk to some of the generals before they go out, before you fight them. And I gotta say, that's, that's pretty amazing. So... And also, I think it's kind of cheap that the so the generals can manage to get more energy back as turns move on. I mean, that's kind of lame. I mean, you won't believe how many times I was how many times I died the first time I played. I loved the game as a kid. Now I'm playing it on an iPhone, and is it better on the i 
I, not iPhone, iPod. Is it better on the iPod than it is on Sega Genesis? Well, you only have two buttons to work with on this thing. I turn it off, but right here will be where the directional pad will be. Up, down, left, right. You can't go diagonal for some reason, which it kind of sucks. And also, A and B will be right there. So you can, like, open up a menu, or choose a not, not menu option. So, is Shining Force that good? Well, Shining Force is an epic game series. I mean, the first game has to get a GBA 4, which I actually found pretty amazing. The controls are, are very fluent a bit. So you might accidentally open up a menu when you want to talk to someone. But, and also there's some great searching. But with the limited amount of area you can have, and an unlimited support of team members you can get, I'd say Shining Force is a pretty good game, so... Dora, what do you think I should give it, huh? Cool. Nice. Really? Holy crap! Dora licked my hand five times, which means I should give it a five out of five, and I kind of agree. I love the game a lot. The game is very fluent, the RPG styles are great, and also you can upgrade all your members when they reach a certain level, which is pretty awesome! I find that pretty epic! Don't you agree, Dor? <laughs> so, till then guys, subscribe to me, follow me on Twitter, and check out these fine videos right beside... Well, over here. <laughs> over uh, right beside me. And that means right beside Dora's head. <laughs> till then guys. See ya!